So here's my thinking. Let's just skip over the fact that I didn't post in a month. We don't need an explanation. We can just forget it happened. In fact, what? I wrote it last week. You just missed it. Um, but yeah, today I thought I'd show you how I style dresses for autumn and winter. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm showing you how I style dresses for autumn and winter. So I thought I'd just start off with some kind of rules I go by when I'm picking out these outfits and like these are just my rules, they're by no means like definitive rules, you can style dresses however you want but this is just what I do for autumn and winter. Number one, pair with some chunky boots and maybe some chunky socks as well if you want to fully embrace the chunk. Number two, layers, layer under, layer over, maybe even do both. Number three, Make sure the jumper hangs. So I personally don't like it when the jumper grips in over the dress. I quite like it to just hang. Number four, pick a vibe and go with it. Fully embrace whatever vibe you're going for. Number five, don't forget the hair. And all I really mean by that last one is that when I'm styling dresses for autumn and winter, I quite like it to look quite thrown together. So I quite like my hair to match that by either like putting it up like I have it today or in a low bun or something so it's not like a massive rule that I really stick to but just a kind of pointer. So with all the rules out there let's get cracking into some outfits. So we're starting out with the most beautiful dress that I think I have ever seen and owned, um, which is originally from House of CB, but I picked it up on Depop. It was still quite expensive because I think they just seem to hold their value, especially when they are this beautiful. Um, but yeah, worth it. And I can't wait for summer when I can just wear it as the dress itself because it is beautiful. Um, so yeah, as I said, House of CB, but got it on Depop. The cardigan is just from H&M. It's like this loose orange kind of like brushed knit cardigan. I really love it. And then I've just gone with my docks and some white chunky socks on my feet. Beautiful. So next I've gone for a shorter dress. I've gone for this kind of like slip style dress. This one's from Rocket in Covent Garden. It's actually, I think like a lingerie kind of slip dress, but I just wear it out because I like it and fashion has no rules, am I right? Um, and then I've just put this ASOS jumper over the top. It's just like a V-neck one. I've had it for a year or two now, but I reach for it all the time. Like even in summer, it's a very standard jumper for me. And then and I've gone for my docks again on the feet with the white chunky socks again because it really kind of draws in to the jumper too. I've actually picked out a coat to go with this outfit so I'll whack that on and show you that. Don't know why my voice just cracked then. Must be going through puberty. So this is the jacket that I've gone for which is probably my favourite jacket of all time. I've had it for years and years. I got it when I was in secondary school and I think even then like it wasn't towards the end. It was like quite in the middle. So I've had this for years i'm getting old um but i got it from a charity shop like this is my biggest argument for going to charity shops because you can pick up some absolute great pieces keep them for ages and you're being sustainable like this oh love it um but i don't really know what like kind of jacket i'd call it like it's quite a dad jacket and i don't know if i think that because it's originally from john lewis and i kind of think of that as like a like only dads get their clothes from john lewis surely i don't know if that's just me being judgmental um but also it's got like loads of pockets like it's just your typical dad jacket um but yeah it's great it's warm it's got a fleece lining and i just think it really goes well over like a dainty little outfit like it really contrasts between like the dainty little floral dress and the white little jumper and then boom jacket boots great outfit great jacket this next outfit is extremely similar to the last one but you know there's just like different cuts and materials and lines and i just thought it was still worth showing so the dress is just from nasty gal i believe it's just a really simple slip dress i really like the pattern on this one actually like it's a really ditzy floral print that i just love spot on and then the jumper is just from asos it's just this cropped white chunky knit jumper i think this is a very standard piece like i know i said my last white jumper was like a really standard me piece and i wear it all the time but i think like not everyone is keen on v-necks i quite like them because they look kind of cozy and like thrown on but this one i think is just really standard and like would suit probably more people because it's like round neck cropped 
great. I don't really know what I'm saying, but I just think good jumper, standard, like it. And then I've gone for my docks on my feet again because they're a great chunky boot. I definitely think if you're considering getting some docks, just do it because they last ages. I got these second hand but never worn before me um so they were cheaper like look on depop because a lot of the time people get some and then they won't find them comfortable or well, there'll be a reason but they'll be marked down from full price so if you know your size look on depop get yourself some second hand dogs that preferably haven't been worn loads because they've probably molded to people's feet if they've been worn loads and i just don't really know how i feel about second hand shoes um but yeah have a look on depop they're normally a lot cheaper and they still last forever so yeah i'll stop preaching docs at you now and show you the jacket that i've got for this outfit so i've just put on this ski jacket which actually was my mum's and she did wear it skiing but then she was going to get rid of it and i was like hang on that's a great jacket i'll take it and there we go the story of the ski jacket um but i just quite like how it complements the colors in the dress it kind of fits with the kind of pinky purpley theme so i thought you know what fully embrace it as i say in my little rules embrace the vibe go for it um and here we are with a cracking outfit next up we have this saucy little number it really doesn't get enough wear like i've had it for years but yeah it only comes out every now and then but i'll never get rid of it because it's just such a classic well-fitting dress um i think it was from misguided but i actually can't be sure it's just this burnt orange velvet dress and i love it and it's actually got like these black straps but you can't see them because of the black turtleneck sue me um but yeah they're all there and then yeah as i said i've got this black turtleneck underneath and then these black tights and then my big powerful chunky black boots i really like wearing these but they are quite a lot of hard work so i don't wear them a lot but i just feel so powerful when i do wear them because they just make me very tall and i like that um so yeah i would usually put on a long black coat with this outfit but both of my long black coats are back home with my parents so this is all that you can have i'm afraid but it's still a great outfit next up we just have another layered look this time with a white tail to neck underneath um i think this one's from primark and i actually think the last black one also was but i'm not sure i said that um but this time i've got a leopard print slip dress on i believe it's from sisterhood which is a sustainable brand and then i've just gone for my docks on my feet again with the white chunky socks i think like this is my favorite sock shoe combo i just think it looks very autumny and wintry and cold weathery um and yes i forgot what i'm gonna say but i have got a jacket for this outfit and i really like it like i really like the whole um outfit all together so i'm gonna whack that on and show you is this not the most incredible outfit you've ever seen like a dark shade of leopard print a light shade of leopard print double leopard print i'm in my element uh the jacket's just from new look it's just this fluffy leopard print jacket but i'm loving it like you've had double denim now it's time for double leopard print like oh this is what I mean by finding a vibe and just going with it. You might think like two shades of leopard print is too much, but no, never. So last but not least, we've got this lovely all black outfit. So I've just gone for this black turtleneck under this black midi dress, but you can't really see a lot because it's all black. Um, but this midi dress is just from Shein, I believe. I've had it a few years, so I can't remember like always um yeah it's just this simple button down midi dress and the turtleneck's just a simple black turtleneck and then for my shoes i've just gone for my trusty dock sock combo again um and yeah that's a very simple outfit but it's not done yet oh my finger came in short here um i've got another jumper to lay out over the top for you so to stick with the all black theme i added on a black cropped jumper over the top this one was just from depop it's probably my favorite jumper that i own i wear it all the time you've probably seen it countless times as well but i just really like how it's black and it's got the little embroidered colored writing on the front um but yeah that's it that's the outfit and that's the video so i really hope you enjoyed it i really do want to get back into making videos i know i say this all the time but i really will get back into it um and i also want to make other videos except for fashion ones so if you have any suggestions let me know but yes hopefully i will see you next week we're gonna aim high and then get disappointed when it doesn't happen but no it will happen
we're just gonna really hope and kick my ass in together.